Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's take a quick look down at the Helinox Cot Light. Uh, we don't do unboxing or anything like that on this channel. It's all about long-term testing and I've been using this for eight years. Recently, on my last trip, they did have a slight failure with it. It didn't impact on the uh, usability of the cot. But I did have quite an interesting email uh, conversation with Helinox and um, it is quite interesting to see how a company backs up their customer care out of the guarantee period. You do get five years with this. Okay, so we've got a claimed weight of 1,245 grams. Let's see what my scale says. I've got a 1,272, so a little bit more. Okay, it could be my scales aren't super accurate. They're just basic kitchen scales, but there you go. Okay, so what are you actually getting in the bag? A straw cord here. You can just undo and then slide all the components out for your cot. Here's the bed itself. You get four legs and then you get two sets of poles which are shock cord, shock cord mounted. Okay, ready? You notice on the underside of the cot fabric itself, it's got the assembly instructions for you in case you're not sure, which is always good. You can construct this inside your tent and take it apart, which is quite important, I think, if it's raining, so that's not a problem. On either side of the centre of the cot frame itself, there's these small plastic um, rings, if you like, and they lock into... Um, there's sort of a cutaway in each of these legs so it locks it into place so these two legs here can't move once they're sat on that like ridge if you like and the end ones don't have that but they certainly keep it all stable as well so what are the downsides with a cot over for example a sleeping pad is obviously um, when it is cooler temperatures then airflow will get underneath the cot that could be an advantage in hot weather though bear that in mind because you get any good circulation of air but in colder weather you might need some kind of quilt over it to assist with keeping you warm at night Helinox do do the cot warmer again it's relatively expensive you can see it's quite bulky but it does compress much smaller than the sack it's in so what, what I would suggest if you are going to get something like this get a small compression sack and that will collapse uh, a lot smaller okay so you get one two three straps that are up and they keep it securely in place okay there it's fitted it's reversible so you can have it on the black side if you want or this blue yellow pattern and fixed on one hidden benefit i've found of this actually this uh, cot warmer is that when you've got something like a pillow um, that you probably normally put inside your sleeping bag hood so it doesn't move about you can actually slide it quite neatly underneath the cot warmer so that's a disadvantage but i think the big advantage of this is it's robust like i say eight years of use I don't mean eight years it's been used once or twice per year this is used a lot if you look at my channel it's the kit i use is used quite frequently in all kinds of temperatures uh, in all kinds of environments so yeah from from that perspective you pay for what you get unfortunately and it, it's not a cheap item but it is a very long lasting item um, regarding people that talk about this i've seen on websites where people say it's not suitable for people to sleep on the side i do sleep on my side i don't have a problem with it uh, it is fairly narrow so if you're a larger person that might be an issue and I would suggest testing it out in the shop before you purchase it but for me 72 kilos I'm 1 meter 72 long I have no problem I sleep on my side on this with no problems at all 
over the eight years of use you can see this this material this uh what you're actually like so there's quite a lot of giving it but at no point once you're lying on it does any part of your body touch the ground okay so it suspends your body quite nicely on this tight surface none of this has failed at all there's no rips in it if you look along the stitching there's absolutely zero stitching come undone so that's all lasted extremely well over the uh over the last eight years and no problems at all like i said very reliable um cot i've had well i wanted to test um sleeping mats because uh you depending on what you buy you know whether it be self-inflating or or just the air celled ones obviously they're lighter but the way i use this equipment which is predominantly motorcycle camping um, I use it in a, in a variety of places. When I'm in Scandinavia, for example, I'll be sleeping in the huts. I don't build my tent. So that means I'm putting my sleeping mat in these wooden huts. And I've, over the years, I've had punctures. I've got through two or three sleeping mats with punctures. And I know a lot of people say that's not an issue. You can pair it in the field, but it's, it's difficult. With this, bomb proof, no problems. I've had no issues at all with the aluminium uh, struts, either be it on the um, side frames or on the base frames themselves. All super strong, no problems. But what I have had a problem with, I'll show you now. You can see, in fact, I'll put these two together. This one on the left is perfectly all right, and this one on the right got damaged. I don't know if you can see that. You can see here where it failed. And like I said, this this is this was my fault for shimmying around using the the cot as like a bench which you can do obviously but i had all my weight in one part and i was moving around my backside and i think that's what caused it to split so in summary then what we've got is an extremely good well constructed relatively lightweight uh, alternative to sleeping pads and sleeping mats eight years of use and as i mentioned then we had a slight failure on two of the legs so i then reached out to helinox and i thought okay let's test their customer services um, this is out of warranty, but I wasn't asking for any particular um, anything for free. I went on their website and couldn't find any replacement parts, although they do quite a bit of replacement equipment for their chairs and their cots. Elastic shock cord you can buy if that starts wearing out, etc, etc. So you can certainly, for the majority of components, you can replace without having to repurchase the entire item, which I think is great. And, and they do have a specific part of their website that explains that they believe just because a simple leg bends for example you shouldn't have to throw away the product replace it and carry on using it helinox quite quickly then got back to me we completely understand your point which is why we are actively working on making as many spare parts available for purchase we do truly believe one bent pole should not lead to a whole product being disposed which is why we assist our customers with replacement parts with our five-year warranty as well as offer spare parts for purchase we unfortunately do not have spare parts available at this time for this specific product moreover given you have exceeded the warranty period you are not eligible for our warranty program sadly nevertheless we do want to keep you using your cot so we would be happy to send you a new poll please could you send a photo of the damage so I did send a photo I'm just waiting for a response from that but that sounds very positive and that backs up the premium price in my opinion you're paying for a Helinox product so in summary the kit is long lasting the customer service is good even out of warranty so it gets a big big recommendation from me and this is not the only helinox product i've got i've got the chair my friends have got the cot one and the table and all of them are very very good guys thanks for watching if you've got any questions whack them in the comments below as always stay safe keep riding till the next one goodbye Thank you.